Cultivating curiosity has been one of my life pursuits. From the very moments of my existence, the world has sparked my intrigue, leading me to ask, what's that? We all possess knowledge seemingly ingrained in us, yet we seldom question its origins. In my new series, What's That?, I embark on a quest to unravel hidden truths, challenge misconceptions, and explore topics that truly captivate me. Join me as we journey into the depths of understanding, uncovering the mysteries that shape our perception of reality. Keep the flow going, that is my duty. Back again for the rundown, funky till sundown. It's double K and Thess, what? Let's have fun now. This ain't your typical, throw your hands up. We on that laid back tipping, Los Angeles tripping. Alright, so on this episode of What's That?, we're going to be looking into steps. Now, I'm sure you've heard that you should get 10,000 steps in a day. Yeah, I have too. But where exactly is this coming from? Is is this information like how we supposedly swallow four spiders per year in our sleep? Or that earwigs crawl into your ears? Or that dogs are colorblind? So, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to set out to see whether 10,000 steps is right or not. And whether it's a myth, just kind of like the other ones, or if it's maybe fact maybe we should be getting 10,000 steps as humans um yeah and I'm gonna dive into it through a few different perspectives um and kind of give my own perspective at the end when we look at walking from a scientific perspective it seems we focus on how walking can balance our health this is where we start hearing okay so the first view I'm looking at walking through is the history of walking philosophies and their prevalence today I want to first start off by making some assumptions about the deep history of humans walking before getting into the philosophical aspect. Firstly, in prehistoric terms, people may have walked much more than us. This would have been because of less transportation options and more need to move and survive in the wild. Or they could have expended energy to get food and resources and spent the remainder of their time at leisure not walking. So there may not be a huge discrepancy between how much the average human walks today to how much a person walked thousands of years ago. But also, this is just my speculation, so do not take this as fact. Alright, so we got prehistoric walking out of the way, but what I first wanted to dive into is the prevalence and importance of walking in different religions and philosophies. In Buddhism, there's walking meditation that the Buddha described to increase fitness, proper digestion, and long-lasting concentration. In Taoism, there's a form of mindful walking that involves walking with awareness of breath, body, mind, spirit, and ki, while being in harmony with nature. Also, philosophers like Aristotle and Plato advocated for walking in nature as a means to contemplate life's complexities. They believed that walking in natural surroundings encouraged deep thinking and introspection. Um, the philosopher Henry David Thoreau reflected walking ideals in a lecture that is literally called walking, which explains the importance of connecting with nature, and even claimed he needed four hours a day of walking through nature to be satisfied. And to go on and on, there are also many Asian cultures that had pilgrimage routes where walking was a spiritual practice. The Camino de Santiago in Spain and the Shikoku pilgrimage in Japan are examples where walking is not just a physical journey, but a profound spiritual experience. And some pilgrimage traditions still occur today. People are still on these trails. But when did our walking just become steps and those steps just become a number? I decided to look at a study or two to see the scientific perspective of walking and how many steps should you really take a day? When we look at walking from a scientific perspective, it seems we focus on how walking can benefit our health. This is where we start hearing numbers like the 10,000 steps you should take in a day. To start, many different governments around the world have studied and produced recommendations on step count, and these guidelines or recommended steps are supposed to be additional to a baseline of physical activity. The problem is, there has never been a baseline level of activity defined, and that's because the baseline continuously moves based on society and how we live. Okay, so how many steps should you take a day according to science? Well, it's complicated. According to many studies, and I'll leave a link in the description, the number is all over the place. 32 studies published between 1980 and 2000 indicated that healthy younger adults between 20 to 50 take 7,000 to 13,000 steps a day. Another meta-analytical approach to summarize and present steps per day taken by healthy adults uh, between 18 and 65 the data of healthy U.S. adults was about 6,500 steps a day on average. This data agrees with the state of Colorado's research of 6,800 steps a day for a healthy adult, or South Carolina's of 5,900 steps a day. Now here's why these numbers get confusing. Different people, cultures, and countries walk more or walk less. According to studies, Japanese people aged 15 years and plus take an average of approximately 7,200 steps a day. Western Australians aged 18 and above take approximately 9,600 steps a day, 
Belgian adults take t from 25 to 75 take around 9,600 steps a day. Swiss adults 25 to 74. Um, women of these Swiss adults take 8,900 steps a day, and men take uh, 10,400 steps a day. Then we also have age and its relation to the number of steps you should take. The younger you are, the more movement you should have. But this doesn't mean that when you get old, you should not be walking or having movement. And also, it depends on how this movement is done. This movement should not be lackluster. You should have moderate to vigorous movement as well. So according to the study I found in its complementation of studies, the healthy adult could take between 4,000 to 8,000 steps a day, but 10,000 is a reasonable target for healthy adults. So finally, we get to the number that we've seen so many times. But I think that number shouldn't be taken literally. So why should you ignore the 10,000 step recommendation? Well, here's my opinion. I do think it's necessary for governments and researchers to study how much a healthy person walks a day. It provides a good baseline to understand overall human health and fitness, but a person's health shouldn't be defined by a number. I believe a person should work and push themselves to want to be healthy, find an internal motivation, and drive for life to be active in the world. Walking will make you feel better. In my opinion, an intrinsic motivation to move should be a top priority, and to me it feels like the world is slowly becoming removed from this with more daily convenience that sacrifices movement. And I'm not perfect every day in moving enough, but I try to be better every day. Movement will make you feel better, I promise. The 10,000 step number is different for everybody. Some people may need exercise more in a day or less. But my viewpoint is that no matter who you are, the more you move, the better you'll feel, and life will become less stressful.